but the killer is nearby and I do not want to leave this cupboard. <laughs> the killer is nearby and I don't want to leave this cupboard. <laughs> I'm going to stay in this cupboard throughout the entire playthrough. Hey guys, this is Dark Lord Cookie with the Realm Gamer in the UK and welcome to the beta preview of Dead by Daylight. Now, if you're a fan of horror films such as Friday the 13th, uh, you know, Halloween, Nightmare on Elm Street, you know, this game might be the right game for you because the premise is pretty simple. Uh, four of you play as the most unlucky survivors you can imagine stuck in this hellish nightmare that they need to escape from and one of you plays as the psycho killer trying to hunt them down so I've played this game a couple of times sort out my graphic settings uh, you know, to get a feel for the game this game is absolutely fun and I want to take you on my journey with me so we are going to quick play this and we're going to see who we are going to play and it looks like we're going to play as one of the survivors which is quite nice because survivors is a quite a fun kind of class. I say class to um, to play. Now, everyone readies up. Everyone gets ready. So now there are four of us. But whether we play as a team or whether we play as individuals, that's another thing. Because you can play this on your own, like you know, be, you know, you know, you know, sort of, you know, man for themselves sort of thing. Or you can actually try and escape as a four. So. The game is different whether you're playing as survivors or the killer. I'll give you. I'll also play the killer as well to give you more info what happens on. So the only level available is called the Macmillan Estate, and the objective is rather simple. Throughout this level are generators that are procedurally generated so they are different locations each time. Our mission is to turn all five generators on and find the exit for us to escape. Now, uh, I am really shit scared right now. <laughs> The killer also starts somewhere, but right now I need to make as little noise as possible and make sure that I don't alert anybody. I haven't found any of my compadres, so I don't know really know where I'm going, but you know, the atmosphere in this game is so great, I love it. Um, five generators, find the exit, get the hell out, don't get killed now. Oh, go away, crows. This is a really bad place to be in. Um, so the killer, of course, is patrolling. Ah, there it is. So. Go, go over here and hold left click. So, repairing the bar at the bottom. Shit, run! Okay, I failed the skill check. I failed the skill check. The killer knows where I am. He knows where I am! He knows where I am! Sorry! He's chasing him, that's good. Yeah, chase him. Don't chase me. Chase him. Just chase him. Just chase him. Okay, bye. Thank you. Okay, that's really dickish of me, but I don't care. Don't you dare learn to me. Don't you dare learn to me. Ah, oh, don't be a dick. Do not be one of those guys. Okay. So, two people in the team are completely bloody incapable. But, the really cool thing about it here is that if you know that one of your teammates is getting chased by the killer, they can kind of distract him long enough for the rest of your teammates to kind of, uh, uh, kind of activate the rest of the generators. So, I can actually kind of return to this generator, where Whatever the hell it was. Where was the generator? That's two. Well, my teammates actually did really well. But, unfortunately, whenever you activate a generator, it will make that noise, that glowing yellow kind of picture we see. The killer will also know that that generator has also been turned on. So, essentially, you generate, you generate that, you turn on the generator, you get the hell out. So, here's me. The bar at the bottom. God, I'm really bad at those. With that skill check, what it means is that you it acts like a, the reload mechanic of Gears of War. Where if you get it wrong, the generator explodes and you need to get the hell out of there. Otherwise you have essentially exposed your location. But if you get it done correctly, if you get that sweet spot, then you essentially repair the machine faster. Uh, but I think I am okay, so let's do this quicker. Oh, that's not good. I need to, I need to really pay attention to this. Oh, there, that's, the, that's, the, that's the sweet spot. One. Ah, oh, that happened way too quickly. So I'm gonna do hide here. You must know I'm here. See, as the heartbeat decreases, he starts to walk away. But you must know I'm around here somewhere. My friend is kind of in dire straits at the moment. 
But I'm going to get this generator fixed. I'll get this generator fixed. I'm going to go save my... F oh, because the other generator was fixed. <gasps> this is the last generator. This is the last generator. Come on. Come on, Rich. Get it fixed. <laughs> Come on, Rich. Just get this fixed. Come on. Unfortunately, the killer knows that we are trying to fix that generator because there's only one generator left. He will probably count that generator like no bloody tomorrow. But... Oh, two of my guys are down. Two of my guys are down. I've got to fix the generator. Fix it now. Just fix, it. fix the generator. Find the exit. Come on, Rich. Got it. Okay, one guy's dead. Find that power switch. Get the hell out. But the killer. The killer knows where I am. <laughs> no, I know where I am. Go, 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 go. Oh, uh, I'm nearly dead. Oh, come on. I'm not going to escape this. T two of my friends are dead. No, dead. Can't find the exit. But you can see how tense it can really get. But we were doing so well. We were doing incredibly well that game. And it's a bit upsetting that we kind of didn't uh, get to full experience. But unfortunately... I'm on this little meat trap. So when the killer does find you, he can essentially either kill you outright or put you on his meat hook, as far as I'm aware. And uh, I have a choice to escape. So I can escape. But of course, the more times I try to escape, that happens. And I think the backstory of the killer isn't necessarily explained, but it looks like he's trying to sacrifice you to Cthulhu. He's trying to sacrifice you to Cthulhu, and it's not fun. But... Unfortunately, nobody is there to save me. I have to go down. And off I go. That's not really explained, but something is going on with the second killer. But unfortunately, I gave it a good go, um, but... Sacrificed. I thought I did extremely well. I thought I did extremely well. And also, after each game as well, you are given, um, kind of, I think they're called uh, blood points. And the way that this game works is that as a survivor and as a killer, you can level up your character accordingly. So a survivor, for example, can carry items with them so that they can repair more items, uh, they, they can repair generated faster, they can heal faster, and they can generally do more skills a little bit better. As the killer, it'll just help him kill things easier and be a little bit more of a menace. So I'm... I'm going to, uh, <laughs> I want to spectate this game. Where is the third guy? Oh, he's been captured. <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> because he's the last guy, this guy, the killer, is going to mess with this man. So, that's the survivor side of gameplay. Very cool. So, how about we be the killer? Now, the killer, this is just called the trapper. Uh, during when the game is actually released, there will be, um, different, um, psychos, different killers you can play, but right now it is just a trapper. So you can see what he does, he carries a large machete and he can also lay down traps, which is really cool. Um, so you just kind of got to create your own sadistic kind of playground for you to do this. So essentially I'm just waiting for more victims, hopefully I can find people who want to actually play with me. So I'm now the hunter, I need to go find them. And of course, I start a random location as well, and I just need to go find these guys. So essentially, I need to try and figure out which generator they would go to first. And of course, the generators are completely randomly generated. 
you know, <laughs> uh, how I'm meant to find these guys. But of course, the killer has got several tricks up his sleeve to actually get the edge on a survivor. So it's not all doom and gloom and everything like that. Because one of the cool things is that the killer plays from a first person perspective. And also, he knows where the five generators are. So unfortunately, um, at the beginning of the game, it might seem a little bit, you know, that the killer is at the disadvantage because there's, there's five generators, they could be at any one of them, but you just need to play it cool and just make sure that the survivors make a mistake. So, you basically choose a generator, you just have a look around, just keep an eye out on, just keep an eye out on the arena, just make sure that, oh, now that sounds that somebody has been trying to turn on the generator but has failed and I can see a survivor. That is on my right, trying to run. Have a look. I'm going to set a trap here. Also, he can actually set up traps. So he can pick up traps and set it down as well. And also, the cool thing is, survivor gets caught in a the trap. They're not getting out of it that easily. Now, somebody was here. But I seem to have lost them. I saw the survivor. But let's press on. Now, it's not good just to just hang... Uh, you know, hang by one generator. You kind of need to go circle the area, keep the survivors on their toes, uh, knowing that they're trying to evade you, and knowing that they, you are trying to find them. Hmm. And of course, I like the fact that the atmosphere, there's a lot of noises like crows, uh, you know, stone, brickwork, electricity, just m different ambient noises that kind of throw you off sometimes when you think a survivor is nearby, but nobody has. This generator looks a little bit switched on. Someone's been messing with that. So you kind of got to look around. Right, two generators are next to each other, so I need to keep, a, keep an eye out. For as long as I just saw somebody, that's why I need the sudden pause. Um, and that sort of thing, so let's have a look. Let's have a look. You just got to keep circling the area. Just having a look. See, little, little crackle little ambient noise, there's still four of them out there. I thought I saw one of them, I thought I did, but... Hello? Hello? You're the bomb. Right, let's chase after you. Let's go. Hello? <laughs> let's go. Uh, come on! Oh, Jerry, sweet, 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 come on, vault! Of course, naturally, he's a bit slow. What are you doing? All the Jerry's are being slowly turned on. Hello? Yeah, <laughs> gotcha! That's one. Now, what to do with you? Now, of course, as a survivor, as you realized before, is that when you are playing as one of the survivors, you are trying to break free from uh, the curse of all these things. And I believe there's a meat hook over there that I can use. So, I'm going to put you on here. Thank you very much, madam. Enjoy your stay. So now, she is a bit incapacitated right now, but that generator has been turned on. So right now, two of them have been switched on. Because whilst I've been chasing this person around, the other survivors have been actually trying to turn on the other generators behind my back. But unfortunately, that woman seems to be in trouble, so I can just keep an eye out. So yep, she is a goner unless she is saved. But, what I can see, two generators are kind of next to each other. The one behind me has been sourced. So that one's been switched on, that's fine. Which is these two need a good looking at. So there's three generators, and obviously the killer uh, knows that two are done. Well, the survivors know that the killer will be finding these ones as well. So you just got to keep an eye out. There's probably more to this game as well, like you would put traps all over one of them, so that they would have to either disarm the traps, or they'll need to um, they'll need to avoid the traps completely. But this one has been recently turned on, so I'm going to put this over here. Unfortunately, you can't put them next to the generator. You've got to uh, kind of move them aside and whatnot. So let's have a look. Oh, it's good. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, that sounded that sounded very suspicious. 
Come on. Come on, guys. Where are you? Come out and play. I promise I won't hurt any of you. Promise. Oh, that's one turned on. Sneaky, sneaky survivors. Of course, two will be left. Let's head to the top uh, That one has not been switched on. Unfortunately, you can't destroy generators. That'd be, that'd be downright cheating if you could. <laughs> it should be downright cheating if you could destroy generators. Uh. Come on, where are you guys? Now, I need to really be playing the hiding game here. I need to be able to find these guys. But who knows? We'll never know. We'll never know where these guys are. They could be bloody any... <laughs> I think it... <laughs> Hello? Oh, that caught me by surprise. I was like, Are you there? Right, it's to the, uh, it's the me hook with you, unfortunately. Now, unfortunately, I've got to, uh, take you here, unfortunately, madam. It was a nice try. It's extremely nice try, trying to avoid me. That almost works as well. So oh. Someone setting up generators. So put that there. Let's go find so you over there. Let's go find you. I am running for your location, my friend. Also, good eyesight works extremely well this game. Are you in here? No, you're not in here. That'd be too obvious if you were there. Now, a really cool team would have everyone at a different generator because, of course, noises are going absolutely everywhere. No one down here. What well, is down here? Oh, that is my basement. Okay, <laughs> that's kind of cool. Hello, that was Axpulex. <laughs> get him! You can't get away from me. Oh. Sorry, dude. Oh. Gotta pick you up, my friend, and uh, take you to the meat hook. Yeah. That was the nearest one. Over there. One behind me. So, that's the third guy down. Now, thank you very much. Keep it quiet. Now, the two generators left. There is this survivor here. Unfortunately, he is a bit of a... Uh, actually, he is trying to break free. Yep, he's failed it. So, you see him try to escape three times. He's failed those. Hello. Hello. What are you trying to do? What were you trying to do, my friend? Yep, he's been taken. He's been taken. I'm sorry, my friend. Your friend has been taken. But I'm just going to wait till he kind of buggers off from there. And then you can take his place. There we go, that's the noise. Now, the really cool thing that survivors do have a bit of an edge, that like if you do manage to shake the, the killer off, the killer looks down the ground, so you cannot know exactly where he has run off to. But this guy, just give me the slip. Oh no, I think I might have lost this now. Now, if there's one survivor left, he cannot possibly turn the last two generators on. Completely, annoyingly impossible. So what the game does, is that there is a trap door in this level somewhere. I don't know exactly where it is, but if the survivor finds that trap, trap door, find it, get through it, he technically kind of wins. So I need to figure out where this trap door could be. If I can find this trap door, well, he can. Then that would change the story completely. There he is. That depends if I can get to him before he get, finds that play trap door. <laughs> Fortunately not. Fortunately not. You can see on the bottom it says, uh, Two generators or trap door. Find trap door, can get out of it. Unfortunately, that is the game for me. I win this round. I have gone all four. 
<laughs> Victory is mine. There we go. Thank you very much, guy. Thank you very much. There we go. No one escaped. Merciless victory. Thank you very much. <sighs> that was good. So, again, the survivor and the killer have got two varying different gameplays. I, mean, I find the survivor gameplay more fun because I, I do love uh, survival horror. I do like the way they operate. And the fact that, you know, it's very scary to try and outrun the, the killer from everything. So, that is Dead by Daylight. If you guys are interested in getting a beta key and potentially for your friends getting a beta key, here's what we've got to do. The game developers have created a website for you to get this key from, but there's a catch. When you sign on with your Steam account, you are given a URL from this website. You are given half an hour to send this URL to three of your friends. If you can get three of your friends to sign up using the URL you've been given, each one of you will be given a beta key each. But be warned though, you are given half an hour to do this, and if you fail to find three friends, you have to try again later. Though, you are not allowed to access this website until late at night. So for myself, it was at 6 o'clock. So you have to wait until the moon rises in the sky for you to start to go on this website. And it's a really cool way to get to give away beta keys. Let's just be real. That's a pretty damn cool way. So guys, thank you for joining me on Dead by Daylight beta preview. I mean, I had so much fun playing this game. I hope you guys had so much fun watching me so much that you guys get your own beta key as well. So please check out Realm Gaming and UK for more information on the realm. And also check out our YouTube channel for more content created by other members of the realm as well. So until next time, guys. This is Darla Cookie, this is Dead by Daylight, and I shall see you all very, very soon. See you later.